going on guys sir wayne here bringing you part nine to the 100 and basically the final battle i will go over the start and what's going on currently so still having rebellion here uh, they had some landings of the cemetery landed some troops here killed it with the air and then uh starting to retake it back um Spain's having a lot of trouble here, as well as New England. So I've redeployed my troops from North America and South America to basically keep them from getting killed. <laughs> so, and my problem with Africa, I was able to, like, he has air superiority and has, has had air superiority since day one. And it has completely made me rethink my strategy on not using mini interceptors and focusing on strategic bombers and knocking out their airfields. So, apparently that's not as good as I thought whenever they run high on interceptors. So, uh, but anyway, so he wiped out a lot of my strategic bombers and uh, I went to... Uh, basically do a D-Day landing trying to land on this coast here and I landed my first one but the second and third stacks I didn't want to attempt because I figured he would be awake by the time they got there and I kind of studied went off on the first night of when he went to sleep thinking that he probably stayed up as long as he could at that point in time so I made it to where my landings would be a, a little after that he would have went to sleep the previous night. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and he didn't go to sleep at all, I'm guessing, and he just wiped out both of my stacks in its entirety. And I make another mistake by trying to send what was remaining of my stack back without getting my air in position to take out his stuff. And... He has just been doing his fighter bombers, and and then meanwhile, freaking Hunter over here, you suck so bad, dude. He's like, ah, oh, well, I'm just doing so well. It's just so easy, and because this guy's just like, you know what? I don't care to lose. I'm just going to do everything in my power to keep him from being going to the Middle East, and <laughs> so ridiculous, man. So, um. So I got the one stack across, and I'm just going to try to knock out that freaking air somehow, some way. And I thought about just using gold, just destroy it with gold, and just saying the heck with it, you know, just be a douchebag like that. But I I got to make sure I don't waste my gold like that. It would just cost, just cost way too much. I've dropped like 100,000 gold just because I was mad because they had surprised attacked my airfield and took my stuff. You know, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, a hundred thousand go just like that. So I do my very best not to use, uh, gold unnecessarily and try to use it as wise as possible. And I should probably come up with a video on how to use gold efficiently, but I always have a pro I've always had a problem with just using it, you know, uh, just out of spite, just to be, you know, me, I guess, but I mean, when you got 1.2 million, you can essentially do what you want, but you know, once your gold's gone, it's gone, so like, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on this game, and it just kind of takes to find out when you use gold, so, but, um, so one out of my three stacks was, it was, was completely decimated, essentially, so there's the one up here, and then um, uh, so, and then there's this one that's just gonna get decimated because I decided to be a dumbass and put him in the water because I was like, there's no way he's still awake. Yeah, he's still awake. He's pulling on me where you're, I don't know if he's just stayed up consistently. I don't think he has. Um, but it sure seems like he has because he has been using his planes actively the entire time. So I'm guessing that he has. So, um, but other than that, I mean, South China is just rolling through. Like, no, nobody wants to stop him. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Not a single troop to stop him. All the way across the border. 
and they just don't seem to care. Like if you go to Papa, that's who I'm fighting over there, trying to get across the Middle East. Like they're taking core territories of his land, and he's like, I don't care about any of that. I'm just gonna fight the good fight here in the Middle East and stay right here. So at this point, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, try to meet up with uh, Hunter's forces and then call that that because I can't uh, <clears throat> I can't get any troops across. And then my ally, who was like, I'll protect you. Yeah, thanks, Gunner. He goes to sleep. And then as soon as he goes to sleep, he puts his air down. And then they just bombard my stuff before I could get across. And he has 22 fighters, 25 fighters. They didn't do anything until he went to bed. And then as soon as he goes to bed, they were just like, yep. So definitely lost some KD here. Stop bragging, Hunter. You suck, dude. <laughs> he's over bragging like man it's helping my KD I'm getting all this free kills free land definitely going to surpass you in points at some point yeah probably I'm stuck here I can't do anything so yeah dude's focusing on everything maybe maybe that's the downside of having such a good KD like the guy that who knows he's going to lose just focuses all of his attention on keeping you from accomplishing your goal to get across so Definitely looks like I'm screwed as far as uh, getting across. That's not going to happen. And uh, I'm just going to have to, uh, and I know I'm, <clears throat> after what went happened yesterday, I know I can't have, have, uh, depend on my allies to watch my stuff to get across to protect it. So that's not going to happen. So uh, I'm just going to have to mark it down in the books as uh, I'm going to have to completely change the way I work things you know with my air and stuff i'm gonna have to make some uh deep changes i'm not sure if i'm gonna go more sub base navy and <clears throat> just focus on knocking stuff down and just uh take out my destroyers and battleships and stuff and that'll make me a little bit more one-dimensional i'm not sure if i'm gonna go that route but um Maybe, and then that will allow me to build more interceptors. Because I'm going to have to build more interceptors. Uh, better interceptors. And you can only research so much. So, I'm going to have to just, like, find, like, a soft spot. Like, I mean, what's, what level my tank destroyers are going to be. What level my AC is going to be. Um, more like. And then, uh, you know, same with the air. Uh, <clears throat> and just find out more in more detail to what my priorities are going to be like. I'm just going to have to change it back change it up a little bit but that's how these 100s are you are constantly learning and you're always faced with a different scenario a different um type of army it's always something new something creative something different so and this guy focused you know playing as pan asia he focused heavily on fighters which is what they what the boost that they get is with fighters heavily on battleships with which again they get heavily uh increased on battleships and, um, you know, mostly his air, he focuses that on air and then he made high, uh, <clears throat> at first he didn't make high level air, air bases or air strips, but, um, as the war went on, he increased them and made it to where they wouldn't be destroyed by strategic bombers, even if their fighters weren't in the way. But I learned that, you know, the guy having such a span, uh, with Pan Asia, like he has, it seems like he has a bigger, uh, range, which <clears throat> I'm pretty certain he does, but, um, because of the doctrine that they get, but, um, let's see here, um, let's see here, how, oh. there we go, sorry about that, all right, so, Panasia gets the view range, 35%, so they probably don't Maybe they don't get a better patrol. Let's go down here to the fighters. Any of that. T attack range right there. Look at the fighter. So they do get a 15% more attack range there with the, f with the fighters. Hmm. I did not know they get a better deal with the naval bombers. I didn't know that. Hmm. 
Okay, so we get a better deal with strategic bombers, allies does. Attack range is 15% more, 10% hit points. Okay. All right, well, that that's nice to know. <clears throat> I didn't focus a lot on Pan-Asia. I didn't like them at all. So, um, but he's playing them very, very well, a lot better than what his KD ratio suggestion. And I shouldn't have done my little D-Day invasions, but you got to risk the biscuit to get it, right? So... Uh, but I'm landing more troops here to help Spain and push him back. But other than that, I think that my my goal is to go into the Middle East. I, I'm done with it. I'm just going to let uh, South China come up and take it, and I'll focus matters in this area up here and stop crossing waters. And But I am going to build up a whole lot of fighters, and that's going to be my whole goal right now is to build up fighters and take this dude's air out. And I just don't care at that point, like, what it takes. Like, I'm going to have more air than this guy. And I'm going to continue to upgrade my fighters to deal with his stuff. At all costs. Just got to destroy his air. Whatever it takes. And I know some of you guys probably just be like, build some rockets. Well, it's not going to help with his airstrips at level 5. Unless it, well, if they sit down, then that would be nice. But I'm not sure about the new rockets how they've been nerfed and everything, been more towards morale than actual buildings. Uh, I'm not uh, sure about them actually destroying. I don't know if they adjusted their ability as far as being destroyed by actual troops or not. I actually don't know that. Maybe I don't think they did adjust that at all, so it should still be good. But anything that's refueling on the ground is good. Uh, you know, and, and the air fight between me and him, he has been so... So, so, so lucky at times where, like, his planes hit the ground and they're refueling. And then my troops are going to attack them while they're refueling. And by the time I get there, I'm like, like last night, for example, I was 1 minute and 30 seconds from hitting his stuff. And he was 30 seconds left of refueling. So, like, <laughs> like really? Really? And, and I had been trying to get to that air base for quite some time so just what what luck you know for his stuff to just come out of refueling and he done a good job at using his interceptors to to you know protect his stuff but he has none down here they're all up here <clears throat> so i mean dude really 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 focused on air uh it makes me wonder how he was able to take so much land and uh not damage his air like he dan I know he had to damage his air, but I'm curious to see, wonder how much air he built and how much air that was damaged to the point where he couldn't deal with it. Cause like I know that we're winning, like I know that we're winning the war because like we're destroying his stuff that he cannot replace, especially his fighters. Like I know here that he's gonna destroy that, no problem, because they're disembarking, but <clears throat> other than that um uh, uh other than that he's taking damage for most of his stuff that's going on where okay there it is but i'm going to keep sending my fighters on the way to come help deal with this guy <laughs> deal with this dude's air force <laughs> And I guess I'll have to upgrade it and deal with that. But I think that's I think that's about it. We were um, over here. Sorry, the video so long, guys. Rambling about just just such a learning, uh, <clears throat> um, and really a in my opinion a, a defeat on my own part, which usually doesn't ever happen. But I did not uh, have the scope to deal with like what he had brought to the table like my like I had completely relied on strategic bombers to knock out his airfields and he had so much air ready and available like he had um like he had 20 to 30 fighters like seriously 20 to 30 fighters to deal with this in the Middle East which he did not I did not see when I got my reveal laws so and I know that was like two days before the attack so I guess he had built them up, and then he had seen the attack coming. So, um, he 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 completely had time to build up, and he didn't know South China was going to uh, betray them. So that was 
Um, I'm sure he wasn't going to be putting troops back here to deal with him. Um, so, but um, British Columbia is still on his way to land in, in Papua New Guinea, but that has still not seemed to work out very well. I have, well, it seemed to be very slow. And then uh, I am currently marching to Papua New Guinea myself to do some damage because he just seemed to doesn't care about his capitals or his core territories. And then we're also getting more. Oh, he's going to land some troops. Cool. So slowly but surely, it's it's going to happen. He's going to lose, and there's just nothing he can do about it. I just really wanted to get across in the Middle East, and I just shouldn't have. I shouldn't have forced it. I shouldn't have rolled the die and been like, you know, I just shouldn't have. I should have just stayed over here and just waited and gained air superiority and or waited for my fighters to get here and then gained air superiority or just, yeah, yeah, just gained air superiority and then start, start, started the crossing at that point and then he couldn't stop me, but I got greedy, wanted to <laughs> make sure I beat Hunter in his freaking points and not that it actually matters because you get a coalition win, you get a coalition win, but uh, just um, what happens when you get you get risky and you get greedy and they make you pay for it. But other than that, I think that's it. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.